friends, I hope you all are doing great. It's me, Nikki here, and I'm excited today because, you know, I have been partaking of the Charlotte restaurants a little bit too much, and I'm trying to shed some pounds and get healthy, and so, Mike and I both, and so what we're going to be doing is meal prepping, and so I wanted to take you on the journey of me meal prepping for the first time here, and you know i'm going to get more creative but right now we're going to keep it basic i'm going to meal prep for dinner and for lunch this week and i want to take you along and if this is a video that you think you may like to see um, every week my meal prep for the week definitely click that like button and let me know in the comments i definitely want to hear from you um, also before i get started i want to remind you that i am live on amazon every Friday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And that's a fun time for me to be, you and I to chit chat. Um, sometimes we're doing things around my house here and showing you some great Amazon products that I've been using lately. So it's just a good time. We call ourselves the friend girls over there. So definitely check me out. I'll put a link in the description box below. But now let's jump into this meal prep. Okay friends, let's start by making the broccoli salad. I don't know about you, but I absolutely love broccoli salad and it's a great meal prep item for me because I love it and I can eat it for a few days and not get tired of it. Now, about after a couple days, I do get tired of it, but I can go a little longer with with broccoli salad than most other veggies. Now I'm just cleaning my broccoli and then after I clean the broccoli I want to just chop it into nice bite-sized pieces and that is the key with the broccoli salad because it is a food that is big on texture also and so you want the pieces to be really what you desire them to be. So if these are even too large as far as the width I would go ahead and cut them in half even cut them in fourths whatever your bite size you want for your broccoli salad. So now that I have the broccoli prepped, it's time for me to then work on my red onion and get that in there. And one thing I do want to say is I have the recipe for you in the description box below. So definitely check the description box for the full recipe. Now taking the onion, you want to chop it up into a small kind of bite, not even bite, smaller than bite sized pieces. You see here how I'm chopping it up. And so this is kind of what I like in my broccoli salad. But again, you fix yours however you like and you put it whatever if you want um, bigger pieces or slivers of onion then that's how you do it you have full control that's the beautiful thing I like about a salad is you really can make it the texture that you desire so now I'm going to add in shredded cheddar cheese which of course I love cheese so this is one of my favorite parts and also cranberries which gives it a nice just beautiful sweetness to it and sunflower seeds now now that I have all of this prep the next is to put my bacon on because yes we are putting bacon in this broccoli salad I love bacon in the broccoli salad and you guys know how I like to make my bacon I like to keep it clean and simple I do it in the oven I use foil on the pan because that really helps with cleanup and it really turns out great you really have a nice crispy bacon and with your broccoli salad that is what you're looking for that nice crispy bacon so good and of course I have to nibble as I go so I have to put a little extra piece in there for me when I'm cooking so friends you simply then just chop up your bacon and throw it right into the salad and it is really going to bring a lot of flavor to this broccoli salad and who puts bacon what else, what if you don't if you see a great an ingredient that you put in your broccoli salad that I did not share today let me know in the comments let us know that recipe because I love learning little tweaks to recipes and so now that I have those core pieces in the broccoli salad it's time to give it all a nice toss before I put in any of the more liquid side of things so the next ingredient is the mayo and Mike he doesn't like mayonnaise but he will eat it in the broccoli salad I have to say it's he's not a hundred percent fan of it but because of the other ingredients it kind of it you know it takes away from it being so mayo based but it is um, one where 
there is a lot of creaminess to it um and it's not that he doesn't like the creaminess of like he likes sour cream and he likes things like that but it's specifically the mayo and mustard he's not a fan of but then we're going to put in a little bit of sugar that gives it a little sweetness which you know probably could have left the sugar out also some red wine vinegar and as I'm adding these ingredients in, I'm just giving it a nice toss. And you're seeing that my broccoli salad is coming together. And this is going to be just a great, great amount for our meal prep time. And this is uh, mustard that I'm putting in here. And I'm meal prepping twice per week. So I do one half of the week and then the second half. And that way, I know that we're always getting, our food is always pretty much fresh on the fresher side of things. Then it's time to add in that black pepper along with that seasoning and salt, things that you know flavor it like you want to flavor it you know this is again your choice on how you want to flavor your broccoli salad and so i'm putting a little bit of sea salt in there um, and just giving it another toss and it is coming to the closure when it comes to this broccoli salad and i am so excited to give it a nice taste so i'm going to plate it into our little cups here these are from pampered chef friends i'll put them in the description box below they're the prepping cups and they are so perfect for meal prepping especially when you have those little salads or sides that you want to put in individual containers these are so perfect for that and i think they also come in different sizes i know they do because i do have different sizes now that i'm saying that but I'm meal prepping again enough for us for those three days and then after that I'll come back and meal prep for the rest of the week. So now that our broccoli salad is prepped and in the fridge, it's time to move on to our roasted sweet potatoes. So this is the next uh, portion that I'm having in our meal plan for the next three days. And so I like roasting my sweet potatoes. I just chop them into bite-sized pieces, but you can definitely cut them in rounds and roast them that way. I've done it that way before too, and it's delicious too. But um, for this week, I'm just going to make little nice bite-sized pieces. And then I'm going to just, from the, this point, I'm going to season it a little bit again season it to your your choice you may want to put seasoned salt you may even want to put a little cinnamon they're always great with sweet potatoes and the recipes that i'm sharing today they're such great fall recipes so it's great for your fall meal planning and then once i season it to taste however i like and i'm putting a little bit of cinnamon in ours also to give it that great flavor i'm going to drizzle drizzle it with olive oil you definitely want to make sure to coat um, all of the sweet potatoes that they all get a little bit of coating of that olive oil because that's really going to help with the the roasting of your sweet potatoes and then again going back to my tray with the foil on it easy cleanup putting that foil down and i'm putting a little bit of olive oil onto the tray so that again it really does have a nice coating and it helps with the process of roasting. I'm then going to throw these babies into the oven and let them roast for about 25 to 30 minutes and that is done. So that if you're looking for a simple, simple side for this fall season, roasted sweet potatoes is definitely a great go-to. And friends, I just simply seasoned and baked our chicken and that is the meal. So we have the sweet potatoes, we have the broccoli salad and the chicken. And these are my meal prep plates. And I got these from, I wanna say Target. I believe it was Target. I'm gonna put them in the description box below, but I love that they have the portion sizes and they have the measurements on the inside. You can read there that they have the measurements on the inside, but this helps with you know controlling the portion size. So even if I put a little sugar in the broccoli salad, a little this, at least I can redeem myself with my portion sizes. And then I just had um, chicken thighs as the chicken. That is my favorite part. It has the most flavor to me of all the pieces of a chicken is the chicken thighs. And so I have everything prepped for Mike and I for our next three days. And I'm going to just put the lids on them and then put them in the fridge. And we're covered as far as our lunch and our dinner. So as you can see, we're going to have um, some watermelon and broccoli salad for lunch. And then we're gonna have that broccoli salad again for dinner because I had made a nice full bowl of it. 
And so for lunch, it's going to be about that broccoli salad and the watermelon. And then for dinner, you saw the dinners. It's the chicken, the roasted sweet potatoes, and the broccoli salad. And for breakfast, I actually have our eggs already pre-boiled and peeled right there in the mason jar, along with tomatoes. And we're going to have sausage with that also. So friends, I hope you have enjoyed meal prepping with me. And again, if you enjoyed this, definitely click that like button. And also, if you wanna see this, you know, let me know in the comments if this is a video or content that you would be interested in seeing every week, cause I would love to share it with you. But friends, I hope you're doing great. Don't forget um, to click my replays for Amazon Live below, along with, um, you know, checking me out 1 p.m. every Friday. I also will put the link to all of the items that I use today, whether it's my meal prep bowls or any of my kitchen gadgets. I'll put those in the description box below if you're interested in any of those. I hope you all are doing great. I will see you at the next video. And this is Nikki saying goodbye.